everybody, welcome to another Fire Emblem Heroes video. It's the Goat Mummy uh, Podcast, and we're <laughs> reacting. <laughs> I assume the recording's so gonna bad. pick that up. You clipped what? so bad. No, her recording oh. picked it up. It's just Discord. Just okay. Oh, oh, yeah. sorry. Discord. Discord <laughs> Try that again, click. Jeannie. Yeah, dis, dis, <laughs> I can't use words. Discord will clip if it's too loud. Okay, I'll sit back. Wait, Nanak, you didn't say the line. Clickety clack, John on the track. It's time to react to another Fire Emblem Heroes banner. <laughs> People may be sleeping across the street. Let's keep it down. For okay, <laughs> we're the Goat Mommy Podcast, and we're back. Um, I think, you know, the silhouettes for this one were a pretty strong indicator for what to expect, so we definitely have some we ideas. We are definitely getting book four of Fire Emblem Heroes uh, as the child banner. Keep that out of your filthy Before. mouth. This is the day we finally get the goat. Boyd. Boyd is Boyd coming. Boyd is back, baby. It's yeah, about time. I, I, was we'll talk, I was telling Jeannie earlier, Boyd is going to be in this banner. We're we'll getting the Boyd and Oscar. Isn't there a third one, too? Who's the third one? Gordon? Boyd. Oscar. <laughs> Gordon. God. Rice. Lord. Hey, All right. they, well, had, they had the Path of Radiance at my local game shop. Ooh, uh, for five thousand dollars. Yeah, <laughs> but it was actually more expensive for just the disc only than complete in box that you can get off of eBay. So I didn't. Yeah, end up not worth it. Nah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess let's do this then. Let's see who they hit us with as babies. We'll do a countdown. Three. They were talking about the Grail mercenaries, right? Or were were they yes. making a bad joke? Uh, yeah. No, they they were talking about the Grail mercenaries. I think I'm we're gonna, gonna see just... Tatiana, or is it Titania? Titania. I, I yeah. Titania. Titania. Why are there two characters with like identical yeah. names? It's ridiculous. Well, there's also multiple characters who are just named Claude. So. And Reese. R- Reese. Oh <laughs> Reese? my God. Anyway, so I'm yeah. expecting to see Titania, Ike, Soren, and Mist. That's we kind of boring, saying, but we were saying Mia expecting. or something. Yeah. The other oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Scratch I mean, Miss. Last night. Yeah. Definitely there. Yeah. yeah we. Um, okay. Probably so Soren and Ike, right? Soren and Ike. Um, I don't know for the for the duo. I was guessing it was going to be Mist and Ike, but we can find out by watching the video. So I'm going to count us down. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right. Who we starting with? Words can build the starting future. With I clicked on the Japanese Mia. one. <laughs> what kind of words? What? Yep, there's oh, Mia. Mia. Yeah, it is Mia. Oh, she's cute. Yep. Aw, she's baby. Cute. <laughs> Cover your she's ears. She's a little baby. Sword fighter. Ever. I, uh, I, I still so hate I her voice. I accidentally <laughs> clicked on the Japanese okay, one. So, uh, Sharp horse. Nice. Okay. I heard her being very cute in Japanese. Aw. Bring it on. She didn't go. Oh, okay. That's Soren. That's Soren. Yep. Soren. yep. Yeah. yeah. There he is. Oh, he's not paired with he's Ike. So though, okay. He's so dirty. He's not. Oh, he looks so oh. <laughs> so angsty. Yeah. His, his dialogue is. Uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> that checks out for him. That checks out. Oh, right? so he's not a demote. Okay, interesting. No, he is not. Does all he do is this, grunt? Is this all he did? He not know how to speak. He doesn't talk. He doesn't oh, know how to speak. oh well, that would explain it. Okay. <laughs> Ilyana. Wait, that's Ilyana. Yeah. Ilyana. Huh. I guess she's the demon. Okay. I could share my snacks yeah. with you. Wow. Oh, look at her little hood. So cute. Oh my God, that's Aww. cute. She is cute. She's definitely what a cute. What a baby. <laughs> so cute. bitty, teeny, tiny. I love her. Small. Oh, she she tanked that. Yeah, she did. Oh, God, she's going to eat that entire dude. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, here they oh, are. And I can miss. I can oh, miss. Look at, okay. oh, my God, look at I. Magical look at me. Girl. I love you so miss look cute. older than him. Okay, never mind. Look at me. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. It sounds just like regular Ike. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Hi, I am child Ike. Well, in the, hey, in the Japanese me. version, they definitely sound like kids. Oh, okay. I'm five years old, Mist. <laughs> <laughs> Stay behind me. I mean, he looks more like he's probably like ten, but yeah. Yeah, they sound yeah, like they sound like Skin I don't know sky. the Digimon characters kind of do. Oh in my the god! Japanese Wait, version. Oh, no, that's the gr- that's um. Is that Valentine's Grail? I've never heard a, a ten-year-old sound like that. <laughs> yeah. It's time. Uh, like yeah, that's puberty early. His hair looks so funny. It, it's cracking me it's up. It's adorable. <laughs> I love it. His, his lack of headband is I'm really not throwing a fan. me. Yeah. Um, 
Oh. Okay, and then can we see the oh, Tempest oh, Trials oh, oh, unit? If we look, let's see. It's Boyd! It's Boyd! I called it! It's, it's Boyd! Oh my god! Here. It's Boyd! You got your dream come true. You called it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Ike is color sharing. Oh, that's oh, rough. Oh no, but it's with that's Mia though. Rough. Yeah, like so not me. terrible. It's fine. But okay, thanks. I had to go to the English version, so now I'm in English <laughs> again. Oh, good. Uh, okay. But yeah, the, the, the duo, um, they sounded kind of like I was watching some Japanese Digimon the other day, and that's they kind of remind me of their voice actors. Huh. Like that kind of that that tam I don't know, timbre in their voice, the pitch range, that kind of thing. Oh. It sounds. I don't like think that. any of us are going to be playing the game with Japanese. <laughs> oh well, no. Uh, but anyway. I just wanted to say because yeah. I happen to be in the Japanese version by accident. Very unprofessional. So. Yeah. But um, you know what this reminds me of? I don't know if you guys have what? seen that clip from the Invader Zim movie from Netflix where he goes, my name is De Dib Membrane. I'm 10 years old or something. He's like a grown ass man. <laughs> yeah. This is basically oh that, God. but the voice instead of the... the right. th Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I guess, I mean, going through one at a time. I'm going to be the best sword fighter. Mia's obviously very cute. Like, no complaints mm -hmm. there. She's adorable. Um, yeah, I think Mia's my favorite art of all of them. Was she voiced really by cute. Rouge again yeah. or whatever her no, name is? No, God, no. No, it's a different voice actress. <laughs> no, thank you. And Yatko. Oh, that's just like this. Yeah, yeah that if is it was, If it was Lena, whatever her name is, she would have been you like, would know. during her attack, <laughs> she would have been like, <laughs> She makes the weirdest fucking noises. <laughs> All right, and then we have um, Sharp War Sword, which accelerates special trigger. If a skill compares her speed to a foe's or allies, it treats her speed as plus. So she has like phantom speed built into her weapon, question mark. That's um, kind of interesting. And then, yeah, at her, the start of her turn, if she's within two spaces, oh, null follow up and dodge to her for one turn. Not bad. Ooh, yeah, um, not bad at all. And if she initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, she gets plus five to all stats. That's a pretty solid weapon. Not gonna yeah. lie. Power crap, yeah. free in Erica. <laughs> sort of, yeah. <laughs> Rip. Um, she's not even the duo either, so it'll be interesting to see what Ike has going on. But um, And then speed defense tempo three? What is this? What is this? Inflicts speed defense minus three on foe and neutralizes effects that grant special cooldown charge plus X to foe or inflicts special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. Oh my god. Some of these skills are getting so, like, I can't even keep track of what counters what anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's like you have guard and you have anti guard and then you have, like, anti anti guard. This is like, anti -anti it just keeps this going. This is the guard like anti guard. It's yeah. Never ending exactly. <laughs> So I guess this is the newest well, in that line. Your thing that counters my thing that counters it's like, your yeah. thing that counters <laughs> my thing that counters your thing that counters my thing. It's freaking Yu-Gi-Oh up in Yeah, exactly. It is. Yep. Oh god. Yep. <laughs> Just wait till you guys play magic, then we'll talk. Oh god. Yeah. No, Look, I, I watch magic sometimes on Mondays, and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and I want to keep like it the that beauty way. Of it. <laughs> yeah. Most but... quote unquote most complicated game ever created. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's true, but I could believe it. It's got um, a lot of creep, I'm I'm sure. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. So as so far Sorn, as So on the right? So yeah, he's man. he's not talking because of lore reasons, right? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. That seems to be. I, mean, I wasn't his, thinking of that his until name, he said it. His, yeah. <laughs> yeah, his title is Hushed Voice. Yeah, so. I was going to say he's Hushed Voice. Aw. Aw. Little guy. Um, his art's pretty cool. The coloring is a little odd, but I mean, he looks he looks good. I can't complain. I mean, you still see this poor, like, homeless kid. Aww. Yeah, yeah, he definitely... And so he's, like, covered in dirt. He's got yeah. the, the color scheme of, like, the, the moldy <laughs> outfits in Animal Crossing going on. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, it You're does right, kind of look though. like he's wearing a moldy potato sack. Aww. <laughs> Little guy, yeah. He stayed um, in the sauna a little too long in three houses. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, um... <laughs> A his weapon is so long. Oh, is it adroit war tome? Accelerate special trigger at start of combat. If he's over twenty five percent, attack res plus six. 
and the following effects will occur based on the value of his res minus the foe's res. If it's more than one, he gets a guaranteed follow-up. If it's more than five, if foe uses sword, lance, axe, bow, dagger, or beast damage, foe cannot counterattack. If it's more than 10, reduces the percentage of foe's non-special damage, reduce damage by percent skills by 50%. Okay, so that last part is like uh, what the Valentine's Leaf and Thracier have. Just the last part. The rest of oh. it is its own thing. But yeah. the cutting mm -hmm. damage reduction by half is what Valentine's Leaf and Thracier do. Um, interesting. Okay, so he's going to really want to stack res, I guess, will be his big thing. Yeah. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. the yeah. more res he has over the opponent, the greater his uh, advantages. Plus, huh. uh, it's interesting that it had that it uh, that the the A skill is mirror impact instead of mm -hmm. being. Um, What's the one when the foe attacks and you have res? Uh, I it's it's got like the same thing, but it's yeah mirror mirror stance something else. mirror stance yeah mirror yeah something that like that. I, so um, I'm a little surprised it's not that, but um, because that sounds like it's a like well, the the weapon is a tank. No, no he's an, it's yeah, enemy. he's he's it's a player phase. He's oh, it's player phase. phase. Okay, yeah, so I think that's why. Also, they okay. just refuse to give that skill to anyone. Like, there's literally one unit in all of Heroes. That has it. <laughs> the, it's the axe guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, freaking yeah. Osian, Osian is the yeah. only oh. one. <laughs> Hate um, that guy. Come on, yeah, share the love. Yeah, I don't too. know. It's very weird, but uh. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I guess I could share my snacks with you, but only a little bit. And then next up is Ileana. I love her skirt. Very cute. I love her little, little hood. Frills. Her red yeah. riding hood. Oh my god. Is this the cute. same artist as her mm. other ones? It might be. She looks like it's definitely a pretty similar style, but honestly, yeah. I think it might be my favorite of her art. I just think she's really cute. <laughs> Let me look it up. Ichikawa. Uh, uh, she's done Legendary Shida, uh, oh, Halloween okay. Rhea, and Tatiana. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Okay, so mm. fairly new artists then, actually, because yeah. Yeah. None, of, yeah. none of those units are that old. <laughs> yeah, but they're all good. Um, They've all got, yeah. Yeah. I'm just now noticing Tatiana and Legendary Shida have, like, the same face. <laughs> oh, do they really? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> a little bit of same face syndrome going on, but yeah. <laughs> okay. And then windy war tome, uh, res plus three. If foe initiates combat or foe's HP is over 75%, uh, attack res minus six on foe. If her res is greater than the foe's res, it reduces damage from attacks during combat, um, by percentage. Okay. So she gets damage reduction based on res and yeah. If unit's res is greater than foe's res plus five, foe cannot make a follow-up attack. That's pretty solid for a mm -hmm. demote weapon. I guess it does look like it's probably not inheritable. Yeah, it's not yeah. inheritable. Um, so yeah, yeah, it is a preferred, which would make sense. But yeah, that's pretty and solid. And I think the, the kid, the on the kid banner, the demotes are always pretty solid. Like I know young Martha's it does, really good too. That's true. That does kind of seem to be the trend. Um, and I, I thought know, he was a Tempest Trial unit. Young nope. Mark? No, he's uh, yeah, he's he was the. Demo oh, I wish he was the Tempest Trial unit. He no. came <laughs> okay. so many I don't know. I don't know why Yanchita. I thought he was a Tempest Trial unit. Maybe because I see him all the time as a plus ten. Was it? <laughs> that uh, could be I think it was Minerva. Was it Minerva? Mm. That was it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That checks out. I don't um, know why I thought that. Um, I'm I see him a lot too, so mm -hmm. I, I get it. Um, yeah, for he's sure. pretty popular. Wait a bike! I'm coming with you! Not this time, Mist. This isn't for fun. I need to train. Um, and then we've got- Oh! Ooh! Oh! Ooh! Okay, I was just looking at <clears throat> skills for Ike and got excited but, about but his B skill. But look how cute the but art is for- It I is cute. I love them! Wow! <laughs> Dude, I the sword it. he's holding is still <laughs> it's like it's so as big as he is. I know, I love that. It looks, it looks that. like freaking uh, what's it called, the Rimbell from like Blazing Blade. Yeah, it's yeah, giant. Yeah, right. It's That's freaking hysterical. huge. Aw, they're cute. Also yeah. hilarious that he has his regular voice actor. <laughs> I also love that they're holding hands. Isn't that sweet? Like he's like holding his hand. Like, oh, what a good big brother. Okay. <laughs> 
And then, um, yeah, so Sturdy War Sword. Oh boy, here we go. Um, attack plus three. At start of combat, if over 25%, plus five to all stats. Uh, and if units attack trigger special, the following effects will occur based on the number of allies within four spaces. Four spaces, geez. Okay, if uh, greater than or equal to one, before units first attack, grant special cooldown minus X, where X equals 50% of units max special cooldown count. Okay. Um, if greater than or equal to two reduces damage from foe's first attack by X percent, um, where X equals units max special cooldown count, and then if greater than or equal to three neutralizes effects that guarantee foe's follow-up attacks and effects that prevent units from so null follow-up is if greater than or equal to three. He gets Radiant Aether, which I assume is special to him. Um, some mm. sort of, yeah, yeah, foe's defense and res as it and reduced like by typical oh so it's aether it's just has one less cooldown count that's yeah. the only difference okay yeah. <laughs> um yeah. distant dart which is new he can counter attack regardless of foe's range and he gets speed plus five during combat um that's going to be popular i bet people are going to want to fodder that skill like do we ton. have this the the variant that gives attack or is it what do we have so far uh, we have so the thing is that we have this for we have this skill already for close counter instead of distant counter i don't think we mm. have an okay. attack variant for distant counter yet but i could be wrong mm, right um, so this is a this is definitely a good power creep version yeah of mm -hmm. and then he has null c right. disrupt three which i think is kind of a big deal i have been mm -hmm. thirsting for that skill for ages <laughs> um, yeah true yeah it's a good one and joint drive attack. so just kit. great great kit out the door you probably won't really need to like fodder much to him honestly he looks like he's yeah. just about ready to go <laughs> um so that's cool yeah all right is, nice um is radiant ether um is that that's not inheritable right no it shouldn't be no. i was I'm pretty sure wondering it's exclusive just because, to ike right um, ike yeah, yeah but um like ike uh the um i want to say it's legendary ike Mm -hmm. um has radiant aether 2 mm -hmm. right um, but so that's i mean not inheritable to this ike. no oh to this one uh yeah probably? can the ikes inherit it from each other maybe, maybe. i guess i don't know uh, maybe <laughs> I, I don't think so I doubt yeah, it, yeah. yeah. i feel like something's either inheritable or it's that would be pretty funny though yeah i mean radiant ether is like his special thing like that's like kind of ike's yeah. why doesn't brave ike have it what the heck <laughs> i don't know good he's question not used, well it's because he doesn't have a, his, a sword <laughs> what's he's called ragnall yeah. yeah um i mean he doesn't have ragnall here but he also is uh distorting time and space to have it by using his adult voice <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what's happening <laughs> Oh, Man, and this the, this duo skill is yeah. interesting. Do you want to read not, it, Tosi? I was what just I looking at No, it. you go for it. You go oh. for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, inflicts attack speed minus seven and guard on foes within five rows or five columns centered on unit through their next action. And inflicts special cooldown count plus two on those foes. So, what... Wow. All right. So, he just This really seems like a pretty good counter yeah. to uh, no. Legendary Sigurd. Potentially, I mean, he really just says like you will not be triggering your special cooldown. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely not bad as far as dealing with enemies who have their special precharged. That's a pretty mm -hmm. nice solution, I would say. Um, honestly, Valentine's Crom might not appreciate it either, but to some degree, he can bypass it because his movement skill also reduces his special cooldowns. So. Yeah, and I'm just realizing, you know what, every <laughs> arena defense Everyone team has, has duo yeah. counter, so yeah. never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. a nice thought. Yeah. It is a nice thought. I mean, Someone forgets to add it to their defense team. Yeah, then. you can you yeah. really <laughs> dunk on them. <laughs> well, what about... What I had about, hope um, for like five seconds. <laughs> what about in uh, the, the new PvP mode and arena? Um, oh, like I mean, in uh, summoner duels and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, potentially there. Um, I mean, you don't see... I feel like... You don't really see... It's not really kind of relevant, I don't think. You don't no, yeah, yeah. They, have to, like... they have to make some changes, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's useful, for sure. I think it's still, like, there's... It's nice to have, certainly. Um, but, 
Yeah, probably the place it would be most useful would be Aether Raids, where it will not be able to be used, probably. Yep. But that's <laughs> the case with all duo skills, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, and I mean, it's like, you can do it if you break their structure. It's just kind of like a mess to do that and stuff. By then, that's a bit too late for when you'd want to yeah, use it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it depends yeah, if on If anybody your style, knows what they're doing, but... they're going to be able to get to you within, like, the first turn, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably, but... <laughs> If they don't know what they're doing, you don't have anything to worry about anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you guys thinking? Are any of you planning to pull on this banner out of curiosity? Nah, I'm good. Yeah. It, as far as children banner go, I feel like it might be the weakest. Of the yep. Really? I agree. Yeah. Huh. Like nothing like from the past ones, we they always had like some units that really popped out. This one's like... I mean, I think like, they we seem have like some good decent units. sword. We have these. We have decent sword units, but we don't yeah. have anything like a young Sita was, or even a Larsha was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Last year's was was really stacked. Um, yeah, Larsha. They've was... been getting progressively less stacked. That's so interesting. Sort of to a degree. No, you know what I mean? Like, because yeah. they started it super broken with young Sita. And even young Marth was really good, but then ever since then, it's kind of been like, okay, young Lara Shell's really good, and now we've got this, which I don't know, it's not standing out to me so far, but maybe huh. something will happen. Maybe this will be like a spring, what's her name? The, the spring bunny Maria? girl? Spring Maria, yeah, like where we were like, Maria. whatever, and then the Comes actual unit nowhere. was just like insane, yeah. Yeah, freaking yeah. Eliana's gonna have some invincible attack or weapon or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> should realize. throw in the the screenshots you sent me of of your struggles with Spring Maria earlier today. <laughs> yeah, where all my best units do zero damage, and I have no idea yeah, why. That's very Love annoying. Uh, I don't like dealing with her either. <laughs> oh. And that's even when she doesn't have like she didn't even have other units there helping her reduce damage. It was just her. I know. Like, that's yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what's stacking her defense so yeah, high? I gotta I, mean, I gotta stack. I gotta figure out how to stack mine because uh, she was my free pull. <laughs> It's, I gotta I think figure out how to use like her. so poetic how she went from like literally the worst unit in the game to like one of the best. Absolutely. Yeah, there's <laughs> definitely insane. something to be said for that. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that will do it for this one. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Let us know how you feel about this banner in the comments below. We're curious. We want to hear it. And uh, if you like the video, then, you know, maybe you should subscribe. <laughs> do it. Nerd. <laughs> Do it, nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Toasty, you, you will be our viewer base. You will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.